Good afternoon, Remnant family. I hope everyone is doing well and have had a good week. Uh, happy Friday and uh, looking forward to the weekend. Uh, here at our house, we've had a bit of a stomach bug this week and it's kind of run its course. And I've been pulling the anchor leg for the family. So uh, we won't be able to make it to church this weekend just to make sure that we're not uh, passing anything along and keeping everyone safe. And uh, we'll do our best to try to catch up uh, either on the Facebook live or the Facebook uh, stream afterwards, but uh, look forward to being able to get back together with uh, the Remnant family soon. I um, want to speak to you this morning out of 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15, and um, thinking on love and hope. And chapter, chapter 4, or chapter 3, verse 15 says, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and always be ready to give defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. And when I think about hope, that hope comes from the love of Christ and, and his sacrifice on the cross for us and what he did for us. And I think back as a, as a young, young man growing up and singing songs from the hymnal, the song... Uh, love of God comes to mind, the love of God. And uh, in that song, it talks about how if the sky were parchment made and the oceans were filled with ink and if every man were a, tribe by, a scribe by trade, uh, to write the love of God would drain the oceans dry. And to think about that from a, a standpoint of how um, how God loves us, what it what he did for us, it is, uh, it is so evident in his son dying on the cross. And uh, when, before Jesus went to the cross, he was in the garden and he was praying. And it talks about in the Bible how he, he prayed so, uh, so fervently and so heavily. And the burden was so strong that his sweat turned to blood. <clears throat> and that's a, that's a sacrificial love that, I, I can't wrap my head around, you know, I love my family, I love my kids, I would do anything for them, I love my friends, and the Bible even says, no greater love hath any man that he lay down his life for his friends, uh, but to lay down my life for people that I don't know, that's, that's a much different thing, we think about our military and the things that they do, they put their lives on the line, what a sacrificial love but not to the point to save the world, the people that they that you don't like, the people that you may not enjoy, um, a much more difficult task. And um, Jesus did that, and he did that willingly. So, you know, it's not an emotional love like we might see in a movie or read about in a book, but it is, is, it's a much deeper, speaks to the will of, of who you are. And, uh, you know, it, to, to have friends, we must invest in them and we must invest in our family. And, and that takes love and it takes sacrificial love. So, uh, you know, reading in a, in a recent um, devotional, uh, I think not in the too far past, and it may have been Dr. Crisp who talked about uh, in his preaching that... Um, Time is drawing near. I mean, everybody's talking about that now. We look at prophecy being fulfilled in front of us, and uh, that makes things a little more time sensitive, and our interactions should uh, should reflect that a little bit more. So I want to read to you from this, um, this devotion that I, I just recently had. It says, The Holy Spirit reminds us that our highest priority on earth is time sensitive. The clock is winding down every day. This reality invests every interaction, encounter, and relationship with greater meaning. Knowing this frees us to love like never before, with focus and attention to people God brings into our lives. We, <clears throat> we don't delay as much in offering forgiveness. We say, I'm sorry, faster. We risk more to connect with strangers. We minister with more care and teach with more urgency. Remember, you're in it, you're it and time is short. On the other hand, God does bring about those moments that that we just know the Holy Spirit is upon us and gives us a timing to be all things to all men that we may win some. God is love 
and we have the Holy Spirit within us. God is so good. He forgives, he provides all we will ever need. And I think of that song, um, that newest song that's out, um, and it says, uh, you've always been my mother, my father, my brother, my sister, and my friend, everything I've ever needed. And that's never been more true. Um, and as you get older and learn to learn to lean on and, um, just bask in his provision for our lives and to know and realize what he does for us is pretty amazing. And I uh, just want to encourage you guys with that uh, today as, as we head into the weekend. Uh, let's invest in our friends. Let's invest in our family. Invest in strangers. Just like I said, it's time sensitive. Things are drawing closer to an end. And uh, it's up to us to be all things to all men and to win some. And I uh, hope that you guys have a great weekend and look forward to being back together soon. Thank you, guys.